Oh, hey. Uh, I have built a box today. I'm very excited about it. It's actually a poopy box. It's the first box I ever built. Uh, I think I did a pretty not great job, but it'll work. And for my first try, um, it's not bad. I, uh, today I cut this um, really thin wood um, and screwed it on with these really big screws. <laughs> I suppose I should have used the flush screws like I had for this, but uh, it seemed like these would hold it on a little better because it's so thin. I don't know if that's right or not. I have some gaps, like along here. Let me show you. Coming close. See, there's a gap here, more towards the middle, because I only have the two screws, and I did one, and then I did the other. Maybe it didn't press down, maybe the wood's warped. Not really sure. Either way, I wouldn't take money for this. If it was a job for somebody else, but um, for me, it's acceptable. I sanded it really good. I used this uh, works uh, multi-tool. I found that going straight across like this actually works better. I always thought it was going in circles for some reason was was the proper way to do it. So live and learn. So I went like that, straight lines. I also sanded up a table leg. This is for the table I put in the trailer, and uh, I sanded this hole. I don't know why, it just felt like the thing to do, so I sanded it. I made sure the front was really smooth, because your legs might hit it. And I wanted that to be exceptionally smooth, all the way down. Uh, let's see what the measurements were. So, the top and bottom are 20 long, 16 across. And from top to bottom, it's just about 17 inches. The uh, panels I just put on were 15 and a half inches high, so that's how tall the 2x4s are in here. If you saw the last video, you saw that I screwed these on uh, real firm onto the bottom, and then this one piece in the back, which the uh, lid will be attached to with hinges here and here, and I drilled the holes for the seat. I'm still not sure if I'm going to screw down the bottom of the seat because there's really no reason to lift it up except for cleaning under it. So, so maybe I will leave it not screwed in so that I can clean under it because ew. So uh, I'm going to attach the diverter after I stain it. I'm going to stain it with this penetrating stain wood finish by Minwax. Why am I using this? Because I have it. Uh, if I were really gung-ho, I suppose I would uh, seal this with a water sealant. But who knows how long it's going to last. Yeah, I don't think I'm going to use a sealant. Although I could stain it first and then figure out if I want to use a sealant. So I have some time. Hmm, what to do, what to do. So, I measured in here to get the 20 inches um, and the 16 inches, I measured the, the bucket I'm going to use, which is 12 inches, and uh, the diverter. For the height, um, it's really up to the diverter and how short you want it because the diverter has to clear the top of the bucket. So, a 12 inch bucket, 2.5 inches for the diverter is only 14.5 inches, and that leaves a little bit of extra room just in case. Um, I suppose I'm going to put uh, little pieces of wood, drill them down or glue them down in here to hold the bucket in place and uh, whatever container I'm going to use for the uh, liquids. Is that what you call it? Liquids. So I guess that's it for now. It really didn't take that long so I shouldn't have put it off so long. But um, why do today what you can put off till tomorrow, right? 
they're doing yard work here, so I figured the noise of that I'd blend right in with all the power tools. So that's why I figured today I'd do it. This is nice and smooth. I guess I'll start staining, then put the hinges on. Maybe the seat, and then catch up with you as far as uh, where I'm gonna mount the diverter, how far back or forward. I don't know if you can do test runs because you have to screw it in. So I don't know how I'm gonna. I wouldn't want to handle it either after I do a test run. I just can't get clean enough, you know. So I'm gonna stain it, uh, let it dry, put the hinges on the lid. So flips up, attach the seat, and then I'll get back to you. And you can see how it looks, and uh, I guess we'll go from there. It's upside down. Uh, there's actually one piece of wood, you know, that I cut here, so the pattern matches. I don't know if that'll show through the stain, but, you know, it's little stuff like that. Whatever bothers you, or whatever you like, that's how you can make it. You know, that's, like, I pay attention to that. But uh, I don't care if it bubbles out on the side. So whatever's important to you, you can DIY it to be important to you. And do a good job with that part. All right. Till next time. See you around. Be safe.